Well, John has been working on this top secret segment for today's show. Security has been so tight that his entire staff had to be sequestered at the Motel 6 in Modesto. <laughs> At least we saved some cash. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he won't tell us what it is. Yeah. It yes. could be a game. It could be the airing of grievances. We don't know. He's here know. now to unveil the mystery segment. We're just ready. To, just to keep expectations low, there was no food involved. No. Oh. Well, but do you guys know what way. today is? Right. Uh, today is it's Monday. The 28th. Yeah, it June is June 28th. 28th. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It is also the beginning of Hallmark's Christmas in July. Oh, so we're wow. bringing back. It's a simple game. If you don't know, I read you a plot for a movie and you have to decide. Is it a real Hallmark Christmas movie or one that I made up? Okay. Are you guys ready? So oh, happy absolutely. Right now. So happy. This is going to be good. Round one. <laughs> Kendra is a big city journalist trying to uncover the love story behind an engagement ring that she found at an antique shop. Oh. Her reporting leads her to a small town in Michael the handsome but very skeptical grandson of the ring's original owners. Yeah. Michael, though, is too busy trying to sell the family store to help, but eventually he warms up to Kendra, and together they discover that his grandmother sold that ring to save that family store. Oh. And in the process, discover their own love for each other in huh? The Christmas Ring. Is this a movie? Or is it made up? It's very Gift of the Magi-ish. I really yeah, like I, the way that was presented. Yeah, uh, I yeah. feel like I've watched the movie because it was really long. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with made up because in those movies, usually the person coming to the small town uh -huh. is so busy. Yeah. Right. And then they fall in love. Yes. With this, and it know, slows them down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also going to say made up because I feel like Dabs has been wanting to write this story <laughs> yeah. for some time. <laughs> Tina? Like what with made well, up. my mouth opened like yeah. this. So it's true. Okay. You think it's a movie? Okay. Oh, yeah. And it is a movie! What? what? And we have a clip. <laughs> oh. I mean, now it just feels like you're following me around. I promise you I'm not. I, I was just doing some research. Right, on that ring that you claim belonged to my grandmother. Um, not a claim anymore. All right. Oh, here's my blank phone. <laughs> oh. See that? Whoa. I've never seen this picture before. Whoa. They made a cute couple. And see? The ring. As if you could possibly tell from a 1948 picture that it's the same ring. <laughs> yeah, zoom in. Like yeah, zoom in enough. Yeah. Guys, uh, totally makes sense. in case you're interested, The Christmas yeah. Ring airs this Sunday at oh. 10 on Yay! Hallmark <laughs> Movies and yeah, Mysteries. Yeah, I was going to say, she's so excited. excited. <laughs> yeah, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries this Sunday at 10. Okay. Okay, round two. Oh Are you ready? Only okay. Tina got the first one right. Okay. Maria is a big city lawyer who goes home to New Mexico to spend Christmas with her mom. She runs into an old friend, Miguel, who is now a chef. When a broken arm forces Maria's mom to drop out of the tan's annual, town's annual tamale contest, Maria reluctantly steps in. Miguel, though, helps her find the winning recipe for tamales and love in the Christmas season. Hmm. Is this a movie or is it made up? <sighs> Although I could see a couple just kind of squishing the masa up and how romantic that would be. <laughs> like the scene from Ghost? Like yeah. Ghost. Yeah. Ghost in the kitchen. I'm going to say made up, John. Made up. See, when you said the arm was broken, I was like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. But then I was like, but that's probably why it's real. So I'm going to say it's a movie. My mouth did not drop, so it is fake. Oh, Tina's got a gauge. It is made up. <laughs> that is a made it. up movie. But I think it could be one. I like the if tamale you call it aspect. Love and masa. Okay, masa. Uh, but get it, the Christmas season is what I called it. Guys, yeah, um, seasoning. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Final round. Here we go. Okay. Fireman Zach is a confirmed bachelor who's not into commitment, but when he takes in a stray cat, he realizes a little companionship isn't too bad. In a happy coincidence, Zach also starts renting out a room to an attractive veterinary student who also owns a cat. 
<laughs> the felines instantly hit it off, but will the humans also find <laughs> love in the nine lives of Christmas? Oh my gosh, the title. <laughs> okay, I feel like Dabs wanted to write that one too. So I'm gonna say it's made up. I think it's made up. I think it's yeah. made up and they should send you some money and have you write this script. Yes, yes. T. It, my mouth opened partially, uh -huh. so I'm gonna have to lean with the true because, but I felt like there was only one cat involved, not two. Oh, okay. mm, I'll, say, I'll say it's true. Okay. Well, uh, Cody, they can't send me any money because they already sent it to somebody else. Oh. That is a real movie. <laughs> and we have a clip. <laughs> You're perfect together, and your cats are best friends. I'll think about dating after I graduate. You can't decide not to fall in love. She's sweet. She loves cats. She believes in true love. She's falling in love but doesn't know it yet. This girl's a temporary roommate. Nothing else. Right. Based on Sheila Roberts' delightful novel. It's Christmas. Time for miracles. Kimberly Susted, Brandon Rouse, Gregory Harrison, and introducing Trace the Cat. Do you believe in love at first sight? Sometimes love finds you when you weren't even looking. The Nine Lives of Christmas on Hallmark. Oh, what ever happened to Trace the Cat? Trace the Cat! The cat. He is such a, such a promising career. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, The Nine Lives of Christmas airs Friday, July 9th at five o'clock on the Hallmark Channel. You watching that one too, T? You know it. You wore three um, for three, T. I know, first time. You know, I, I would have worn my sweatshirt if I knew what the sub subject oh, was. Oh, because you have, Guys, a, I have a Hallmark. Uh, the gifts keep on coming because we have another round tomorrow. <gasps> oh, We excellent. do? Well, okay. yes. Oh, excited. I can't believe that Superman was in that movie. I know. It was Brandon Ralph. It was amazing. So, okay.